this is always a confusing topic uh, because people just forget the steps. And um, there's so many different ways to learn how to find the slope of a line when you're given uh, two ordered pairs or, or two points on that line. However, what I've done is I've tried to relate how I taught you to find the rate of change for a linear function. Um, so let's take a look at it. When we have uh, two ordered pairs, there's the x and y. Uh, values for each one, so 3 is the x, 8 is the y, negative 5 is the x, and 18 is the y value. Let's find the change in our x values. 3 went down to negative 5, so it went down, so it's a negative change, negative 8. And here it was a positive change of, of 10. Now we just take the change in y and divide it by the change in x, so positive 10 divided by negative 8. Um, that's our slope. You should reduce this to the lowest terms, and, and that would be 5 over negative 4, but um, we can pretty much leave it as that for a, a basic example, but if you have a calculator, reduce it to simplest terms if, if you're not sure what to do. Here we've got two more points. Um, I've already got them in a table. We can make a table. So this went from negative 13 to 1, so it increased by 14, so I'll call it positive 14. Negative 9 is actually bigger than negative 14, so we're decreasing, and so we make that a, a change of negative 5, and then we just put them into a ratio of the change of y over your change of x. Slope equals 14 over negative 5. And then when we, we come here, here are two ordered pairs. Pretend like this is all that's given to you. You can make your own table and we put them in there and we find the change of our y's that decreased by 13, so it's a negative 13. This actually decreased also by 9, so it's negative 9, and we have negative 13 over negative 9. So basically when you see both negative, you can rewrite it as just making it positive. Um, this is basically a division problem, and so negative divided by negative makes it positive, and that's what I'm trying to write right there. Um, let's go back through and, and look at this one more time. When it decreases, we make it a negative number. When it increases, we make it a positive number. One more thing to note. You notice I went from uh, the first row to the second row on the left, so I did the same on the right. Yeah, you, you, if, if you go down on one side, you've got to make sure you go down on the other side. Um, you, you can't go different directions. You've got to keep both sides going in the same same direction here. Here I went top to bottom, so uh, it decreased here, so it's a negative. This is actually increasing, so it was a positive change. And that's what I used to determine the, the sign there, and then I just put it into that nice ratio for slope, change of uh, the y's over the change of x's. Hope this helps. If not, come ask me for questions.